Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We'll have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos or updates. In today's video, we'll talk about how to use Lighthouse to check authenticated pages that are often hidden behind login pages. So what we mean is sometimes in the browser, when you want to access a certain page, you must first log in and then you can access that page. So we are going to provide two methods. The first one is we will implement a Selenium login test with defined web browser port and we will give a command using the same port so that we can access those authenticated pages. So for example, what we'll first do is we will do a Chrome options instance, and then we're going to add an argument stating this port. And later when we're using White, uh, Lighthouse, we're going to use the same port. And that's really very important. Now, the second option we provide is you can use um, Lighthouse URL and then we can use a dot cookies dot JSON. And we can use Selenium login and then use the command driver dot manage dot get cookies. And we can write our cookies to cookie dot JSON. Next, I will show you some code implementing those two different methods. So for the first method, uh, I want to direct you to this base class that we have defined here. And we're working in the base class so that all of the uh, different Chrome uh, instances, they have the same port. So I want to direct you to this line of code here. So we uh, start an instance for Chrome options. And then next, we add the argument stating that the port is 9,999. And note that this is in the base class. And so now whenever we start another Chrome option in the other classes, they will all have the same port. So next, I'm going to direct you to right here, Lighthouse, uh, our Lighthouse class. And I'm going to show you two class, uh, two methods. So the first one is I want to show you uh, this right here, add golf underscore login. And what this class here does is it executes the command line command using the port 9,999 so that after we log in, the, the Lighthouse is able, Lighthouse package is able to access the website and access those authenticated pages behind the login. And so that's for the first option we had where they all use the same port. And to, in order to log in into the authenticated page, uh, we have another function over here and it's just called login golf. And basically what this function does is it enters a bunch of passwords and usernames uh, and logs into the page. And I'm just not going to cover this uh, because we have covered it in another video already. Uh, but so I can go ahead and uh, go to our test class and our test class is just called Lighthouse Chrome. And I'm going to run those two first. So I'm going to comment out the other ones. And remember, uh, so this first one is basically logging into the Chrome uh, uh, login page so we can reach the authenticated page. And the second one is passing that command line to Lighthouse so that it can reach the login the pages behind uh, the login page. So we'll go ahead and we will run this. So I'm going to run. And we see that afterwards, it's able to log in at, into our ADM Lucid website, and it's able to grab a bunch of different metrics, so performance, accessibility, best practices, SEO, um, to uh, look at what these uh, metrics like exactly mean. Uh, just visit the Lighthouse documentation, and they give a very thorough guide about it. So I can go ahead and close this. And so in our Lighthouse class, we also defined some other functions. So the first one is this, uh, this uh, function, my newsletter login. And this one essentially does the same thing. 
you define the port as 9,999, but instead you're visiting uh, this URL right here, calgaryherald.com dash my account dash newsletters. Whereas uh, in this other one, Herald contact underscore login, this one you're visiting uh, the same website, but it's uh, the contact page instead. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to our test class. I'm gonna comment out these two that we just tested. And I'm gonna uncomment these three right here. Uh, and so the first line that I uncommented right here, uh, that line uh, is basically to log into the Calgary Herald website and get to the page behind it. And then these two uh, functions down here is to test the newsletter page and the contact page respectively. And so I'm going to run that and just show you guys exactly what I mean. So it's taking a little bit of time to load. We'll give it some time. We'll give it a little bit more time. Uh, and so we see that We might have ran into an issue there. So I'm actually going to close all these URLs right here. And I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to run lighthouse underscore Chrome. Yeah, and this time it visits the Calgary Herald website. It logs into the website and then it tests the two different pages that we mentioned earlier. So the first one is the newsletter page right here. And the second one it tests is this contact page right here. And once we finish testing those two pages, it will give its Lighthouse report on the two pages respectively. So this one's for the contact page as shown in the screenshot right here. And this one is for the Manage Minds newsletter page. Now that method that I just showed you, that method also, so these two, uh, these two functions right here that I just showed you for the Calgary newsletter one, it uses the first uh, first method as well, where we pass the same port to Lighthouse as the port we're using for the Chrome options. Now moving on, so in the PowerPoint earlier, I mentioned there's also a second option, and that option involves using a cookie file. And so we're gonna show you how to do that option next. So before we do that, I'm going to comment, comment these out first. And this time we'll be using We'll be using this function right here, login golf, and we'll be using this last function right here. And so I'm gonna show you this login golf function first, uh, and it's in this color uh, uh, class right here. And we see basically it logs in to the uh, website that we're looking for using the login password and the username properties. But what's uh, unique about it is down here, uh, under here, it sets a cookie instance 
and it uses this command get driver dot manage dot get cookies and uh, after that what it does is it basically formats the cookie into a, a file uh, format for uh, that we can read using lighthouse and so these lines under here is a bunch of lines to format the cookies uh, into a cookies file uh, dot json file now after we do that uh, we can go back and send uh, we can use the second function right here and this function we're passing the cookies file so it can read the cookies file that we had from earlier and so if we go ahead and we run this uh, under this uh, lighthouse class right here we'll see that it logs into this ADM website that we're really interested to test. And it'll give a performance metric uh, from Lighthouse uh, as well. So two different methods uh, they have their similarities, um, they have their differences. So I want to point out one thing though, uh, in both methods, so in the first method, we used this function as well, and in the second method, we also used this function. And this function is basically just this login function that we use to log into the page. But what separates the two methods is in the first method, we're using the same port, so Lighthouse can read that port. Uh, and so we can access the authenticated pages behind it. But in the second method, instead, we're using those cookies file that we are getting after we log in and we're formatting it so that Lighthouse can read it and give us a report. So that wraps up this video about accessing authenticated pages uh, behind login pages. If you found this video uh, helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, thank you for listening.